boy, oh boy, that's that's too much fun right now. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to call the police. Having too much fun. He needs to stop me. Does too much fun, and too much fun is not a good. Nothing in excess. Never too much fun. Right now, this. Well, that's too much. Uh, let's let's go and read the chat because I'm having too much fun with this right now. I need a break from the too much fun. Hi, I'm a French student who just started to made pretty, and I found your video very useful to understand all this stuff. Thank you very much. Écoute, c'est mon plaisir. C'est mon plaisir que tu as pris cette vidéo. Merci beaucoup. À toi aussi d'écouter. Uh, am I a traveling man? Yes. I am a nomad. It looks like I'm having the real background, the same background every stream, but this is just a metal shelf that I, <laughs> I carry with me everywhere I go. Um, to answer your question less sarcastically, I used to travel a lot before I actually had uh, my kid, and um, I miss I miss traveling a lot. <laughs> I actually, um, I actually um, had the kid um, right when COVID started, so it's not like you can travel really easily when you have a kid. So we put that on the side, a bit. But um, we're um, well. First of all, he's starting to be able to travel. We're gonna trip with him around like March or something. And uh, really looking forward to it. Gonna have a lot of fun. We already took the plane once to go to Toronto, which is not really far from Montreal, so it's not really a real trip. But yeah, but no. Before that, no. I love to travel. I I've went to a few places. I am. Um, all right. Let me let me catalog where I went while I'm having too much fun. Uh, I think that's the, going to be the name of this episode. By the way, it's too much fun. Poly, poly painting, the too much fun edition. Actually, it's worse than that. Poly painting can be fun. This is like mask, like ID masking, the too much fun edition. TMF, TMF edition. So, um, yeah, to, uh, actually just before I start my, my cataloging, um, just want to check what the, that, um, is she not, oh, traveled from west to east. Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I traveled everywhere. I went everywhere, man. What's the uh, Johnny Cash song again? I went everywhere. I have no idea. Plus, I can't sing as low as Ashley. That's extreme. Oh boy, went riding out when dark and wind. Not even like low enough. Slash good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> uh, hey. A good self deprecation once in a while. That's what happens when I have too much fun. I become self deprecating. That's why I can't have I cannot have too much fun. Or else all hell breaks loose. I'm off the wagon. Last time I saw my doctor, she told me, uh, uh, be careful with having too much fun. Because, like, it, like, 
fucks with your uh, your hormones and the uh, thyroid gland. A little disclaimer here: uh, nothing, but I just it's true. Yeah, not a medical podcast. Is podcast a bit much fun? Oh, it's saving. It knows I have too much fun. It's like, okay, you know what, Marco, just take a take a small break from the TMF. Um, Marco is a caravan. Yeah, exactly. The caravan man. That's me, Marco, the caravan man. Uh, uh huh. You can take a picture as a background. No need to carry that heavy stuff everywhere unless you want to, of course. Uh, well, you know, I didn't think about that, all right? And now that you're saying it, now I feel stupid. So, thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. Cataloging. So, um, I went, I think my first trip ever was when I was a kid, my parents brought me to Florida. Um, by the way, I went to the States like not a lot of time, even if uh, it's like right there. Um, but yeah, my first trip was in Florida to go to uh, one of the Disney park. No, I don't remember, Disneyland, Disney World, whatever. Uh, when I was really, really, really young. Well, I mean, really young, like three, four years old, almost. And uh, yeah, I remember liking it. It was pretty cool. It was not, um, I was a pretty easy kid also. My parents uh, keep saying, like, I, I, I never really complained and such. So there's that. Um, but I remember, like, it being, like, a pretty enjoyable uh, trip. So yeah, there was that. And um, so that was the first place that I that I went. I think the second place that I went was... Uh, yeah, it was actually it was Greece. Like my parents, they 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 went there. I think I was like six, seven by that time, and uh, they decided to 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 give me the the chance to see um, new culture and all that jazz. And uh, not that they do jazz in Greece. That's not what I meant. But uh, basically, no. They they um, they just wanted me to see like another country and see all that and it was really cool i i remember not enjoying it as much as i should have um when i uh, like because I, I can retrospectively like see in my head everything that i saw and i'm like man i feel like i haven't really like looked at it uh it with enough admiration which is the reason why i want to go back to greece uh one day maybe one of my next trips i would love to do that that would be great and uh yeah so i think after that i was like 12 maybe and uh we went to switzerland because we actually friended um people from switzerland i don't know how to call them in english in french swiss swiss english but whatever swiss Switzerland. And uh, that was a really cool, really cool trip. Really, really cool. I am um, nice. We went into the mountains. And uh, it was cool. Great. Um, man, the, the mountains were freaking huge. That's nuts. Like, it was absolutely nuts. It was like, yeah, that was like really something. Uh, I would absolutely go back there. Um, it's just like breathing air costs like a thousand dollar per second when you go to Switzerland, so like pretty expensive. Like last time we went, like our friends, they basically uh, we just stayed at our friends, right? So that was cool. Otherwise, man, I would have been uh, whew, ooh, wee, expensive. Okay, just. For a sec, I just want to check if I have not fucked up something before I continue. Uh, Marco's adventures around the world. Marco Caravan. Mark Caravan. 
Marco the Caravan Man. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to place the, um... Place the emissives now. Crap, I don't remember where they all were. Eh, whatever. Um... Little pre will. Hello. Sweden, I think? No, I didn't I didn't went to Sweden. That'd be nice. I mean Oh I imagine doing streams from different places every Tuesday. That's a joy. It is a joy. Maybe not the part about taking the plane every time, but uh uh, once you're there and stuff, uh, yeah, that could be cool. To be honest, I'm really a homebody. Like, I love being at home. Um, but once in a while, I just need to get the fuck out because, um, yeah, it gets intense. Huh? But, uh, but, uh, no, yeah, I, I really like being at home too. Gonna be good. Better. Uh, okay, so where did I go after that? Let me tell you about all of the security questions that can be asked if you try to log in on my account. <laughs> um. So, yeah, the um. Uh, after I after um, um, I went to Switzerland, I I be now I was kind of like a teenager at that point, so I wasn't really like into traveling anymore. I was more about like hanging out with my friends and discovering my identity and that sort of stuff. And uh, I kind of like took a break from traveling. Uh, the next trip that I did was actually. Um, Going to like a resort. I think the next three trips were going in a resort. Like the first time with my family, uh, the second and third time with friends, and um, and yeah. So like we went to like um, well, I mean like an an easy resort that you can go when you're in is uh, Cuba because it's uh, it's close, and um, Cuba. I went to. Uh, Dominican Republic, so oh, that was with my family, and um, yeah, that was nice. That was cool. I'm, I'm not a big fan of going to resorts normally because I kind of like, if I'm to travel, I want to like see many places and stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm a homebody, but like if I travel, I really want to make it like worth it because I can, I can pretty much get smashed like just at home. So going to a resort for me is not like super plus. Huh? But still, I mean, enjoyable for sure. So I did that, I think, like three times until I uh, moved to Montreal. And I became um, like a 3D modeler. Like that was like the, so I did like here and there. So they're more of my youth. Right. 
But maybe I should do the arms now. I've been kind of like not wanting to do the arms. So, uh, so the pure white is going to be like for everything that's like the white plastic on this body. So just need to add the uh, the colors for the rest here. Um. Yeah, I think the next trip that I did after that um was Mexico. So I went with uh I went with a few friends there and uh we did uh, some uh, backpacking so that was pretty cool. So we pretty much went from like one resort uh to not not resort, sorry, uh hostel. I got one hostel to the next. It was um it was a pretty cool trip. It, it was like at that point I was I had very very little money, and um, oh wait no wait 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 no before that before right it's kind of like I I forgot I went to uh, right after school actually I went to France I think I told that uh, during my last stream or the one before that where like I thought I actually got a job at Ubisoft and I did not <laughs> and i spent like all my money on like that trip thinking i had like a job when i was coming back and uh but yeah that's the that's the that's when i actually went to uh to france and uh i went to france um when i was a kid like before we went to greece but like it was just for like one day and i absolutely don't remember it but this is, was my first time like really going to france I went with one of my friends. We went to go see his family. So um, it was cool because like I didn't need to pay for like where I slept. I just need to pay for my some of my food and stuff because they were also very generous and they invited me to eat and that sort of stuff. And it was fantastic. Fantastic trip. Um it was in the south of France in Toulouse. And then we went up north in like some of the other areas of uh, of Toulouse. So uh all in all yeah it was uh really cool. Really cool. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it and I would absolutely do it again. In a heartbeat. And um and yeah so then after after that was um like a, I mean, I think maybe like a, a year into like working at my new job. Um, this is when I actually went to uh, Mexico on the, on the backpacking trip. Uh, super cool, super cool trip. I have great memories of that. I, I like, I love spicy food, right? And I asked um, the, the cousin of one of my friends who's actually uh, Mexican. And I asked the cousin, hey, while we're there, because he's local from Mexico, and I told him, like, hey, look, I want to be able to taste, like, a like a very spicy pepper, but I, I just want to build up my tolerance over the next two weeks, and at the end, I want to be able to taste something, like, like catastrophically, like, spicy, right? And um, actually, what he understood from that is give me the catastrophically spicy right now. So basically, we went to this restaurant. He gave me like that pepper, and I just like ate it. And oh boy, 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 I, I had a problem. That was like, that was bad. It was bad. What happened to me? Um, I don't think it's the first. I don't think it's the worst time. That I actually burnt myself with like something spicy, because another time I, th I I took like and th that's at home with my my dad, I took like um a sip of like sp some spicy sauce whatever, and um and I thought it was like another brand, and like my dad was like that's really spicy that like just be careful and I was like it's not spicy and, like I'm swear to god it's spicy i was like look dad i'm gonna prove to you how not spicy it is i'm gonna take a spoonful okay and my dad was like you're making a huge mistake and i was like nope i i know what i'm doing and i did not know what i was doing because it was not this <laughs> this this hot sauce i thought it was so i 
heartbreak and burnt myself, it was like, it took me like 30 minutes. I stayed, I think, 30 minutes under the sink just with the, the, the cold water because like it was just, it was bad. Like it was freaking bad. Like, you know, like Hot Ones, the show Hot Ones, I am 90% certain that like anything that they do on that show is not like equal to what I did to myself like that that time. Like a spoon fucking full of of like spicy food. That was that was really, really bad. Oh my god. Like no amount of milk. Like I I mean I didn't drink milk because I think I finished a carton of milk and it was just like giving me like a little rest, like, like a little breather for like for like two seconds and then it was coming back like the only thing that could like help me a little bit was like that constant stream of like cold water from the tap oh yeah that was uh that was bad anyways that was a little tangent <laughs> from my my trips but all in all yeah the the trip in in mexico that was just fantastic uh my favorite place and I, I mean we, we we stayed in the yucatan region but we didn't went to Mexico City or whatever. It was just like the, the touristic area of, of Mexico we went. And uh my favorite place that I, I went was by far the uh like Isla Mueres, which uh is the Oh fuck, I don't remember what it is. I think it's women, yeah. Like the island of women. And um basically it's uh just like a really, really small um really small uh, island like you can walk it's it's like in a in a in a shape of like a uh, a rice grain and uh you can pretty much like walk the short distance of the the island you can walk in like 15 minutes almost it's super small uh but really charming really cool really fun you feel like isolated but not nowhere at the same time really nice really really cool plus so i went like to see like a bunch of like temples and stuff Saw Chichen Itza, I saw a couple of other places. It was really nice. Really, really cool trip. My uh, my friend, uh, which was my old roommate, did like um, filmed the entire trip and did like a video at the end over like a mu a song, and uh, oh, that was a it was a fantastic video and a great reminder of that uh, that trip. Yeah. Before I continue, let's check the chat. It was near Ubisoft Montpellier. Uh, I didn't see myself you Pellier, but uh, yeah, close. Love spicy food, but my tolerance has gone up a lot. In go gone down. Uh, uh, if you're not crying, is it spicy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the, for sure, I, I, I agree with that. Somewhere that sounds like a place for pir from Pirates of the Caribbean's. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like it. Eh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I mean, the mana was freaking cool. Loved it. All right, let's put some accents like um, um, Rider Metal here. Just have a few. Hey Marco, tell me honestly. After this spicy pepper, have you, have your sculpting increased? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my god! No, I think I broke something inside of myself after that. Like, there's a I I I can't do really like spicy food so much anymore because um. I kind of like fucked my stomach uh, when I went to uh, Portugal, which jumping ahead and by saying that, but um, like I, I came back from the trip and I had like gastric issues for like 
a good year and a half actually and i was like okay well i kind of like need to to lay off a few things this is when i i i reduced my drinking by a lot also uh, it was also kind of like related to that so yeah and that was right before we had asher so uh asher's the name um so yeah this is um where I had my kid and everything. Um, the um, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, per basically Portugal was my uh, my last trip. I don't count. But anyways, jumping ahead, jumping ahead. Um, Juni, was this character not already done? Uh, yes, but the point is that I'm polish polishing it. I'm going to re-render it in the same style as the Megagato. Megagato, I should say it more uh, correctly. So, um... Yeah, the um the um after uh Mexico uh next trip that I did after that, I think it was like my streak my streaks of going to France, but that lasted a long time because I I used to um go to to Paris and um teach uh, in a workshop. Um at one of my friend one of my friends um well one of my friends actually opened the school and um actually more like he became my friend after I met him, but basically he has a school there and uh I used to go to the school and, and uh give classes. It was great. It was it was really great. I loved it. Fun, fun, fun. And um it's uh I think I did that like nine times or something. Eight, I don't know. Um actually, you know what? I just realized I said in the last trip was like Port Portugal, but that's absolutely not true. That's the last trip with my wife. There you go, because I did go. Um So yeah, the um By the way, I hope this is not like boring you guys. I'm just like this helps me to actually get through doing um, this because, like I said, I'm having way too much fun and talking about something that's maybe that might be boring helps me reduce the amount of fun because this is like way too much fun what I'm doing right now. Ugh. Anyways, it's, if I'm boring, you guys are just uh, you know what. Let's let's look at the numbers. There's six th six and three people right now listening to my boring shit. Let's see the numbers go up or down. <laughs> like I just imagine you guys are like, hey, you have to come on that stream. That guy is cataloging everywhere that he went. <laughs> you have to you have to look at that. That's nuts. Stash Cactus, hello, hello. I love your name. All right, so continue the catalog, cataloging. Uh, so there was like a yeah, there was like a long streak of like me going to uh, Paris. Uh, that was really great. That was cool. Um, I, I mean. After like going for like the third fourth time, I was like, okay, I pretty much like saw like what I wanted what I wanted to see in Paris, and uh, the the trip became more like about seeing my friends there and such. But uh, one time, I I went with my my uh, my wife and um, she um, we we did like um like a wine tasting thing, 
and uh man that was cool yeah that was really great we uh, went out of uh we went out of a uh, of uh, went out of paris uh not too far away though and uh yeah we went to like those little like villages and uh that are like super small, a bit nowhere, but with like people doing their own wine and stuff. And uh, yeah, man, that was uh, that was a great experience. I really, really liked that. But yeah, the uh, my my trip to France, like really my favorite trip to France, has always been like the first one where we visited like Toulouse, and this is all around Toulouse, all the castles like Carcassonne, Recamado. Places like where I saw like this like village. It's called like Colonge La Rouge, which is uh like just completely done with red bricks. It contrasts like so well with the station and stuff on the houses. So it's it's just really and uh, yeah, just um a lot of beautiful stuff for sure. I mean Paris, I love it, right? But it's it's the city and it's whatever. No? But um, yeah, what I love to do in Paris, honestly, is just like walking around the city and like stopping at whatever bistro and having a drink there and just like like vagabond, like I sh I could say in French. <laughs> it's being like a vagrant, not really vagrant, the word, but like roaming around and stuff. It's fun. Um, yeah, so. Um, I had this like streak of like going to France, uh, which uh, I really liked, and um, I think it leads me to another kind of like business trip I did, uh, which is my favorite trip ever, like ever, 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 and I am just really looking forward going back there. And it's Japan. I went for an event uh, to just to go see like like statues and stuff. It's called like the Wonder Festival. So I went to a one of their Wonder Festivals, and uh, I actually met with the ZBrush people there, and we went to like a school. We gave like a little clinic workshop thing. Uh, we hung out, and uh, man, oh, Japan. That was really something. Then I traveled with uh, my um, with uh, Cedric and a girlfriend at the time, and uh, also, and uh, we, um, yeah, we did like all the fun stuff, like the 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 uh, the hot springs and like hiking a mountain to go see like a giant. I think it was Buddha Buddha statue. And uh, yeah, that was in, uh, in Chiba. That well, the Wonder Festival was also in Chiba, but like I, I hang out in Kyoto and and Tokyo as well. And uh, man, I loved everywhere that I went. It's hard to it's hard to say like what I preferred because, I mean, it was so cool. The the food was so freaking good. Everything was good. The food was like just fantastic. I went like I met like a friend there, and he. he he made me go to a um I went with him. We went to like this restaurant that was not touristic at all, but the food was so good and um like fresh fish and that sort of stuff. But like the fish is good, their grills are good, the red meat is so good. Um doesn't even need to be like Wagyu or Kobe, it's just the steak is so freaking good. And um man, I just loved it. Went to Akihabara, which is uh, am I Right, it's like the the area for like nerds, basically, you know, if I if I can say that. And uh, man, I loved it so much. It was so cool. We did like a super touristic thing. We went to like the robot restaurant, which is basically like medieval time for people in the U.S. But instead of like being medieval, it's uh basically like sci-fi robots fighting. Kind of like you're eating at uh, a table. You're kind of like almost like a gladiator you look at like people fighting in front of you it's of course it's like theatrical it's not real fights it's so over the top and so ridiculous and i felt like such a tourist going there but you know what i had a lot of fun so yeah we went to uh we did like a huge bike ride to go to a um 
a monkey park. That was in Kyoto. Uh, and that was, that was so cool. I loved it. So yeah, Japan. That was re that was really my um, that was my favorite my favorite one. And um, and yeah, I think uh, PC number is still at sixty three. So I'm not boring enough. <laughs> or or what I'm doing right now is too fun, too much fun. Like I said. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Got a little raccoon here, courtesy of Kronosda. Raccoon, one of my favorite animals that I never pet. There. <laughs> I'm not a psycho. Oh man, La last, um, recently I went to uh, Vancouver as well, and there was like this guy there, a super fun guy. We loved, loved him. I hung out with him, uh, almost for the entire trip. And, uh, we were like at night walking around in uh, in BC, uh, Vancouver, and um, there's um, I heard like something in the in the bushes, and without even seeing what it was, I was like, it the size of that thing sounded like like the size of a raccoon, and it's in a in the bushes. No animals go in the bushes, and like no cats would is big enough to make like that kind of like ruckus behind the bushes. And at some point, I just like pointed at like the the where the sound was coming from, and I was like, I think there's like a raccoon in those bushes right now. And it was not only a raccoon; it was a little family of raccoons. And the guy I was with was like, "Oh my god, it's the first time I see a raccoon. They're so cute." And I was like, "Dude, you need to get the fuck out of there! Like, don't go near them. <laughs> like, it's..." Like it's pretty vicious, a raccoon. Like it can, it can literally like rip one of your finger, like clean off. So, um, yeah, I just thought it was funny because it, I I have this gut reaction as well. I mean, raccoons are raccoons are so cute, or so cute, but mm, they're they're bad. <laughs> it's like um, it's like this this animal, like well, a wolverine. So I don't know if like you know that, but like Wolverine is not just the name of a like a Marvel uh, superhero. It's like a, it's it's an, an actual animal, uh, and uh, it looks like a big bee, like a big uh, weasel, basically. If um if if I can like vulgarize it, it's kind of like a big weasel, uh, like super big weasel actually. <laughs> it's it's pretty much it's like, it's like bigger than a dog. Uh, as far as I can remember, and uh, not that I ever saw one, because it's a kind of animal. If you see, you might it might be the last thing that you see. Um, but basically, yeah, Wolverine is it's so freaking vicious. But it's kind of like I find they're cute. I mean, the weasel is like a cute. The weasel like a ferret. Ferret's cute. Like a squirrel. Like a squirrel is cute. Whatever badger, a badger is cute, but yeah, no, they're 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 mean. Like an otter, an otter is so freaking cute. It's like one of my, like I find one of the animals I find the most beautiful is a is a otter, and uh, no, it's a uh, otter is not not petable. As far as I uh, as far as I have been told, once again, I ain't no. Um, and what's the name of the guy that died from like a mental ray attack? Steve Irwin. I ain't no Steve Irwin. By that I mean I don't know animals and I don't go near mental rays. Slash other dangerous animals. Anyways, so yeah, you saw a raccoon. That was like really funny to reaction and stuff. One time I was in Montreal and I was just like walking in the like on the sidewalk. It was like around midnight, and there was um I was on my phone, I guess like texting my girlfriend I was coming home, and there was just like a raccoon that passed 
right by me on the sidewalk. I guess it was doing the rounds of like the the trash cans. And we just passed one beside each other and nothing happened. Like there was zero threat coming from me, right? I was just like hanging around. And uh yeah, that was fun. Cute little moment. Oh anyway, um Talking about Japan, I don't uh, don't remember why I started to talk about raccoons and stuff. I guess I was having too much fun. Um, have you ever been to Brazil? Uh, no, I did not. I would absolutely love to go to Brazil. That would be extremely great. Um, nothing has really ever um, like got me to go to Brazil. But uh, oh, that would be great. That would be cool. There's so many like people that I know in Brazil. Could like easily just like send an email and be like, "Hey, I'm here. What's up? Let's party." <laughs> Depends if I have my kid or not. Uh, yeah, some Wolverine can beat even bears. Uh, yes, correct. Even grizzly bears. As far as I've uh, I've known, uh, they are capable of killing uh, pretty much anything that comes in their region. I think they said, like, the only thing that they know it could not beat is, like, a polar bear, but I don't think that, like, a Venn diagram of, like, polar bear and and um, and wolverines are in the same region at all. Maybe uh, there's, like, a degree, but, like, I really don't. But the polar bear is, like, pretty much, like, the the apex predator for Canada. It's a polar bear. It's so freaking huge. And uh, it packs a punch, to say the least. Man, that's taking time. Oh, boy, that's taking so much time. Fucking Christ. All right. All right. That was... I should not have said that. That thing I did. Oh, but God, it's boring. Okay, let's let's continue this charade. <sighs> um, yeah, here we have capybaras, big aquatic hamsters. Really? Wait, I have to go see what it looks like. Happy. Arras. Oh, hello there. Yeah, it's kind of like a big, uh, big beaver. A marmot. Happy Barras. Oh yeah, I I remember hearing about that. Yeah, looks unfriendly. Sure. Anyways, so. So, 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 so. Here with this. They're chill, to be honest. Yeah? They're chill, but don't fuck with them, I guess. Good to know. Um, yeah, so, 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 You shouldn't go after any wildlife around, but they are free to walk next to people here around parks and ponds. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nature in general, it's like, just careful. Like... <laughs> or don't. <laughs> you could be like uh, my friend in BC and let the curiosity get the better of you. 
the better of you if the your fingers are the better of you. The um so yeah the next um like the, there was like Japan and uh I'm starting to get a bit like fuzzy on the details like when it was but like other places that I went I went to like for the Zero Summit I went to uh states uh three times we're all in uh los angeles i did a little trip as well with my uh my girlfriend uh, in um or uh, old archer which is uh not really far from where i live but in the states i went to boston one time with my dad on a, his motorcycle that hurt my ass a lot eight hours of driving on a motorcycle is not the most comfortable um yeah um, but yeah but it was a fun trip fun trip nonetheless so boston i um did i go anywhere else in the state i don't think i did actually i else in the I might go to the San Diego Comic Con to uh like next year. Maybe or maybe not promote some of my stuff from Neo Apocalypse. Wink wink wink. So uh yeah, if um if ever you wanna meet me and see uh the, um Insane new uh, new apocalypse sculptures that I did, four horsemen and whatnot. I'll be in San Diego. Most probably will be at the San Diego Comic Con. Let's not make too much promises. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, San Diego. Um, well, might as well talk about the Portugal trip. We were pretty much near the uh, dates. But anyway, so that was a... Oh, no, yeah, I went to Italy. Fudge. Oh, yeah, what? How can I forget that? I went to I went to Italy, like, now it's it's, it's a couple of years ago now. Um, I went with my uh, my family and um, well, my, my mom, my dad, and... Uh, my girlfriend we didn't have the kid at the time and uh that was uh that was pretty freaking cool how can i forget about that and uh the, the my favorite place my favorite place that we went is by far uh it was in sicily though um in my head i kind of like consider that to be like italy sorry for probably like uh, insulted like a couple of million people right there with that comment but Coming from far away, it feels like it's pretty much like the same thing. Um, but like I went to like Rome stuff. That was like fantastic. Such a beautiful city, uh, of course. Of course. And uh but really the the the, the place I really loved the most, yeah, it was in Sicily, it was uh Taormina. That's where we went. Ah, it was so beautiful. And um for those who saw the series, um White Lotus, uh White Lotus White Lotus uh, season two is in Taormina actually, and um, so yeah, no, just like really beautiful, really nice. Uh, I didn't went in like the luxurious places like in the show though, but uh, just like being like in the city around walking, um, we 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 um, rented like a really small like Airbnb without that had like um, like a ocean view. Well, it's not an ocean; it's like a is it an ocean. Fuck, I suck in geography. Um, it's not an ocean, it's the Darien Sea. Whatever, uh, it's like a giant body of water that you don't even see, like, the other end. Uh, that was, like, really beautiful. So, honestly, it, like, I was, like, fantasizing about, like, actually, like, there and living there. Really nice place. So, um, so, yeah, we, um, 
that was really great. I loved uh, Italy. It was really cool. Um, oh yeah, I also forgot something else. Man, I forgot uh, when I went to France for the first time with my girlfriend. We actually also went to Barcelona for uh, for a week, uh, which was fantastic. Well, uh, the food. we went to go see a flamenco show. That was great. Cool. I'm a big music fan myself. I've played, I've played music for a long time. So I really enjoy this aspect of things. Really cool. Um, so yeah, there was that. Italy. So yeah, Portugal. Portugal was... Um, really cool as well yeah duro uh, region okay there's like a lot of like wine wine making wine tasting in this area cool really enjoying myself like i said i effed my stomach really bad though because um we we ate so much like oily food and stuff and uh yeah my my at some point my body was just like Please stop. And I did not. So yeah, came back from that trip and uh yeah, I had some uh some pretty severe gastric issues, but whatever. All better now. I'm just trying to think I didn't go somewhere else. Trip or trip. Yeah, I can't seem to. I, I think I think that's pretty much all, to be honest. So, um, so here's my extremely long-winded, winded, uh, way of saying that, like, uh, yes, I I am a traveling man, and uh, I love doing it, and it's been a while, and I'm really looking forward to doing it again. Um, but right now we're focusing on the family, which I am very happy to do. Uh, no regrets at all on that on that front. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to traveling. So, yep, here we go. I'd love to see a moose in person. I've seen videos of their size, and their size is something to behold, man. Yeah, moose is uh, it's another it's another animal that like if you're in like I don't know maybe like some hunter would um, tell me I'm just like talking out of my I'm out of my ass, but like a moose if you get too close and stuff and it decides to charge you 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 might die. Like you might very well die. Um, it's really important. Like it's I think it it has some hazards when you're like you can't just like i don't think it's like any hunter that can just like go and hunt a, a moose just because of the amount of danger and stuff like it's you know how to have to be like super safe or or whatnot i'm really talking about of my ass i have no no knowledge in hunting don't don't take what i say for but what i can tell you though is that it's extremely dangerous that's for sure um not only that it's dangerous but if you hit one with your car like ninety percent chance you're dead because it's so big, it's so tall, but like with the velocity when you hit it, like it's going to fall it's not going to fall on your on your uh your hood it's going to fall like on the like facing of the car basically where you sit and I think it weighs like a ton or two actually let's check that out on the end how much a moose. Yeah, exactly. 1.5 pounds. So, wait, that's three tons. <laughs> no, wait. Okay, yeah, no, I did the calcul the calculation uh, reversed. A ton is uh, 2,000 pounds. Well, 2,000.3, whatever. So um so yeah it's 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 about a ton um a 
kind of moves ways. So it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Not recommended. Oh, did I do a mistake here? Ah, I fucked it up. I didn't put the right color. I'll just leave it white like that. Back it. But yeah, like a moose is a. It's considered like a really, really dangerous animal. All right, man, oh man, oh man, eh? it's taking time, taking time. That's the one thing of uh, sculpting, like almost everything on like one piece, that uh, you're. It's really really harder to make the masks. Like if I actually had like a model with like all separate pieces and stuff, like although like it would have taken me a lot more time to model the character itself, but it comes down to making the masks. It's like much easier to make like selections. You don't have to draw everything. Like this here is, it's really a pain in the ass. I'm sure. Seventy-two people. Did some of you go and tell your friends how much fun we're having here? Then they joined. Oh my! Oh my! Well, you're in for a treat, everybody. That because this is the fun zone, where fun is mandatory. I didn't save for a while, I'll do that. I'll drop the sarcasm and save. Hey, all this remain, rem reminds me of the 
mega fauna humans encountered in Australia and other places. So many types of animals. Kind of cool that your sculpt thing, the mega wawa. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a. Uh, it's kind of like topical, eh? In that uh, in that sense. I am just thinking maybe like this should be. Should this be white or black? No, just white. I think it's gonna be. Or if it's black, it actually is gonna echo with those pieces here. Let's do that. By the way, I've been I've been starting to play around with uh, character creator, trying to find like a solution to have some of uh, my characters animated. Cedric did a couple of tests, and sometimes you could get something like fun, like decent coming out. Of course, it's like nowhere near like great animations and stuff, uh, or great rigging for the matter. But it's um, if you have a character like relatively humanoid, you can actually do something that's actually not bad at all. Next stream. You know what? I'm giving a couple of you homeworks. Next stream. Remind me of a character creator. I'll show you like a a few animations. There's just one. I, I just want to tweak it before showing it. See if I can just get it like a little bit better. And uh, I'll show you exclusive Twitch slash YouTube. <laughs> okay, so I'll just add some green accents on the uh on the feet. Done with everything but the head. So we're, we're getting somewhere slowly slowly but surely. And yes, I just called you Shirley. They send Disney artists to Africa for Zootopia. They did. I'm late to the stream. What's the goal today? Uh, it's completing the uh, the poly paint on the character so that I can actually have my IDs correctly before I I bake and render this guy. And um, I, it's it's taking more time than I thought. I really thought it was going to take like an hour. 15 minutes to do that now we're an hour and 14 minutes in and i'm not i'm not nearly done so uh i'm kind of like bummed out a little bit it's not like i really wasted my time i feel like i've been going at a good pace but it's just yeah man it's just taking taking time i didn't remember how much this mesh was it was um like cheated for lack of a better word.
I wonder where they would send Forbidden Horizon art. Ah, uh, don't know. Probably in a in a Mike Nash art book. I just noticed in your portfolio you started this guy six years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, something I do really quick for a um for a workshop, and uh, I'm just uh at some point I was like f asking myself like what I should do on the stream. In the stream, I like to do things that are like a bit more like simple and easy, kind of like a relaxing time. And um, so yeah, and once I was done with like the Elder Frog and all the other characters, I was like, hey, I'm gonna do um. Like a cat in the same vein as uh, as this guy here. And when I was done, I was like, okay, well, I, I did like a much better rendering for uh, the cat version than I did for the um, dog. So I was like, huh, I'm just going to spend a bit of time. And on the next streams, I'm going to make um, a better render for... Um, for the dog as well. And at least that like depth option on this tool is really helping to go like go faster. Because like man for some of that stuff would be tedious as hell. Um make All right, are we done with the pants now? Yeah. Yeah, I think that should be great.
Okay. Okay, so we're done with the um everything except the head. As a last um step before going to make the head, I'm just going to make the emissives on the leg. I think I'm going to want emissive anywhere else. Others on the body here. About to play. Right? Yeah, it's starting to look cool with the polypane and everything, though. That's at least something that, like, that I can say, like, all right, man. Chill, chill, chill. Starting to look cool. You know, let's fix a little something that I was like, eh, never mind, but, like, it's just going to help me in the, in the long run if I do it. Let's put the right color here. There must be gray, not white. There you go, that was easy. Easy. There you go. And now I officially only have the head to do. Woohoo! See when like objects are separated it goes so much faster to um to highlight them and, and such. I think on this one I actually have a bit of poly painting to do. I put the uh... I didn't put to uh, help. Past Marco was not kind with future Marco.
actually. <laughs> Talking about past Marco. Not being nice with future Marco. Uh, present Marco is not very nice with future Marco these days. Because I just started to play Baldur's Gate 3. And holy... And uh, I will be swearing right there, so be careful. Holy fucking shit. It's... It's good. It's good. Ugh, it's so good. And, um... Man, sometimes it's late at night, and I'm like, you know what? Another little, uh... Another little hour. And another little hour becomes... Another little hour. And another little hour becomes a little louder and louder and louder. So, um... Yeah, I am uh, sleep deprived uh, right now. But man, that's good. Oh, good. I'm um, I'm like twenty four hours in right now, and uh, I just I don't want to stop. Actually, no, I want it to stop, but I don't want it to stop. But I do want it to stop, but I don't want it to stop. And I tell myself, like, okay, I'm just going to focus on, like, the main quests and whatever. But everything everything is fun in the game. Everything is freaking fun. So, yeah. I mean, I think yesterday I spent, like, an hour sorting my inventory. Um, And when I was done, I was like, okay, well. I don't know if I really changed the tides in my game. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's cool. It's just a fun game. Fun, fun, fun. I'd say a bit too fun. Kind of like this stream right now with my poly paint. I mean, I think. I think arguably, arguably, my stream is way more fun than, than Baldur's Gate 3. You know what? I cannot continue this charade. This is so freaking boring. When I... Thank you for being here. You know what? You know, that's what I'm going to say. Thank you for being here. Being here with me. Chatting. Listening to my BS. While I'm doing that because, you know, this video here, this video is dedicated to all of you. This video is not me being nice with you and sharing my knowledge. This video here is you mentally supporting me doing this part of my work. That's what it is. In the end, I kind of feel like it's all of you that did the stream here. Not me. Me, I just open my mouth and I let whatever come out. You're the one that's been listening to this for like almost two hours now. So, you know what? The stream goes to you. <laughs> Why do you prefer ZBrush for hard surface over Max? Uh, I'll explain it later. I just want to see comments real quick. Nice background chat as I do retopology. Breaks the monotony. Well, you know what? Fibsy one. Um, that's cool, man. Or women. Um, thanks for listening. I appreciate that. And I, I love the idea. Like, I've been like, I've been really sarcastic uh, over the stream here. And cynical, but like, yeah, no. To be honest, it's it's great that I love that the that's for people's reason to come and the streams just to work alongside uh, me. So yeah, that's cool. Your streams are more fun than Baldur's Gate Three. Nah, stop it. Put it up for nomination for the Game Awards. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe. You know what? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. We'll see. Um, oh my god, perfect timing to join the stream to open my mouth thing. Yep. It's it's, it's perfect timing. Bonjour, bien tout là.
Um, so, uh, Sorguda asked me uh, why do I prefer the brush for hard surface over 3ds Max. Uh, this is really because me, I have everything. My approach for everything is uh, very organic. I um I really don't like the rigidity of uh, poly modeling. Um, the results is okay. The results are okay. I mean, I'm I'm I, I like what people do. Max, uh, I personally find it's too rigid. Uh, sometimes it's the goal though. Sometimes like the style requires you to be rigid, so it's not a question of like one is better than the other. Uh, it's really just a question of. Uh, what floats my boat? What floats my boat are the more um, organic specs of of design. So even if uh, the treatment is a hard surface, yeah, I like to have my approach organic. It's 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 my style. It's the style I've been working on for a long time now. Um, there's a lot of like subjective in there. Um, for a long time, I was like promoting that it's faster. I still believe that it's faster, but now I, I what I like to say instead is, um, it's faster if you want to do things that look like what I do. Because like I, every time that I actually like see that like the the the, um, the, the um, poly modeling would be um, better to do like a piece, I did it. I use like Z Modeler. I rarely, rarely go in like Max or Maya to do my modeling anymore. Um, but I always like ask myself like, what's the fastest way that I could do something? And um, so that's why I always end up like going back to ZBrush because it's. It's always has been like the most fun and quick way to do what I want to do. Like for me, like it's really about like the shapes and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so that head part is done. the um emissives for the helmet That might be too much emissives. I think I'll I'll go like a bit like overboard with it. And we'll see what results it's going to give me uh during rendering.
So maybe Okay, all right, so we got face. All right, let's complete the face real quick. I'm over time right now, but I I think this would be cool if I finish it, so. Uh, do you have some knowledge in Photoshop? Uh, yeah, somewhat, I have, I've, I've, yeah. I do, I do have some. Right now, the only parts I haven't done is in red right there. Oh, and whoop. All right. So for the eyes, I think I'm going to like really do them in in, uh, in Painter. But let's just make a quick like um, guide, I guess, once while we're in a Max and Max. Wow. Wow, Freudian slip, eh? side here. Oh. <laughs> That's like impossible. He's looking so much on the side. Uh, 
Uh, I think it's where I originally planned. Smaller, really prick of a prick, just thin. I'll make all the uh, the redness and coloring uh, like later, like this for my my. All right, and for the the skin now. Finish with that quick pass. Quick pass because I'm probably going to imp it up in uh, This as the base. And I'm looking at that, and I didn't used to like Chihuahuas and stuff, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Pretty cute. He was right there. I would pet him. It's like the old adage says, eh? Wait. A-dab. Kind of like A-cab, but A-dab. All dogs are beautiful. <laughs> Next point. Uh, sensor. Lips here. Sammy Frodo, you know it. Get some tints like that around the eye, but I'm actually going to, well, I'm going to just like tint first. But I'm also going to kind of like, kind of like turn like blue also a bit more. Which, There's going to be like a cor uh, colorization pass. I'm going to have to do kind of like have more colors in there, but this is something I probably refine in. In um, freaking software painter.
of that like dark blue tense tips. Less saturated. Saturated. That is just darker. Okay, side of the eye. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yep, I think uh I think that's it. I think anything else we're good. Oh no, the air is the air is what thing. Card. Blur all of that. Or only the color. The two. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, then add the tip. We're going to get that brown.
back of gears. Gonna get that older rims. Yeah, maybe a bit. Uh... Oh, my grading with a party of 95. Uh, Volpsy, that is, um, that is too generous. That is too generous. I cannot accept this offer. Way too generous. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's really, really great. Really great. I, um, man, I need to check one of your streams again. For anybody that doesn't uh, follow... Oopsie, uh highly recommend. Highly recommend that you go and check that out. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm making it a uh, obligation. Have to. You have to do it. You gotta do it. Eat the cook. And for those who just joined, uh, that's what I'm working on. I know uh, I'm actually um, a bummer because I'm actually done with my stream as well. But uh, yeah, working on the Mega Wawa. I just did like all the, the coloring, ID colors and everything. So that's what's up. That is what is up. Yeah, Volpsy Ray, that's cool. Hey, hey. I hope you are having a wonderful stream. Well, I actually had kind of a cool stream. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of like boring stuff, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like uh, I ended up having uh, some fun. It was a lot of like story time and whatnot. <laughs> Anyways, thanks, uh, Volpsy. That's, um, that's really cool. That's really amazing. Thank you so much. This looks like an enemy from Duke Nukem. <laughs> Kind of like if uh, Duke Nukem had its own mutant, uh, Chihuahua. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to see what you were working on before ending. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. I mean, that's just, it's a lot of generosity. So thank you so much. <laughs> Shin, the Shin Ing. That was awesome. Well, thank you so much. Elminator, thank you so much as well. That's really cool. So I got a little turntable. I can at least show it to you a bit. Yeah. So what's going to happen with this uh, model now that we are um, now that we're done with coloring? Well, at least okay. To explain so where this is coming from um, and to give a little like a bit of re of um, perspective. So this is a model I did like a long time ago. I just did like a quick, quick, quick sketch of it. It's it was like really dirty and it needed to, to have some some polish. So I spent about like three sessions polishing it. So um, about like a day or less than a day. And today I just spent like uh, the entire stream uh, applying the colors on it. I already applying the um, the colors on this guy. And uh, this is not the final colors. This is basically just like some kind of like ID colors because the goal is that I'm going to take this guy, bring it in, uh, well, I'm gonna decimate it, gonna make a low poly out of it, uh, make automatic uh, UVs with RISM. And uh, I'm gonna take all that, bring it in substance, make the textures in substance, substance painter. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna actually have the same results as the um the mega wawa uh sorry the mega gato character i was working on uh, which i will show you this instant render 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 all right so this is the last thing that i did in the exact same uh, exact same style there you go. 
And uh, so basically, like, this is kind of like this series that I started with a dog, actually, uh, called Meganimals. And, um, but the Meganimal character was rendered uh, this way here, um, which is fine. I mean, it was done in, in Keyshot and a lot of, like, Photoshop layering and stuff, but like I couldn't actually have many angles and and, and stuff. So uh, now I'm just rendering it in like another kind of like format of presentation where I'll be showing it um, in a more um, toned down background, but like a focus on the model uh, with this like new technique of rendering uh, using Arnold plus the rest of the the technique I just explained where we're gonna we're gonna take this character and without doing like any like retopo or whatever, we're gonna get it textured and and sent to uh, Arnold. Um, arguably, we could also use Unreal because these characters are not like so high in in resolution. They're still really high because the decimation is violent, but it's decent. Let's say decimation will be decent. It's just it has like a tons of view dims. Uh, it's a pretty wasteful technique, but one that helps to really like remove a lot of the um, more technical, boring stuff. Um, and now, uh, this um, now that I'm done with the ZBrush part, I just just just, just finished it. Uh, we're gonna take this character, and we're going to um, we're going to start the the baking. Well, the the, the Retopo uh, process um, next uh, next stream. So I mean, for everybody that just came in, uh, look if you want to see more of like what I do, and if you want to see the the sequel of that, uh, just follow me and um, check it out. I'm doing the same stream every Tuesday mo most of the time, and also I uh, the link at the bottom of the screen. This is like where we have all our archived videos and all our social medias and also like our merch tutorials that sort of stuff so you can go check this out and uh next uh yeah next uh next week i'll be continuing this uh this character until i'm uh at the same level of um of finish of rendering as i just shown you with the with the cat so this is what's going to happen this is how we do it <laughs> Uh, besides them being the uh, the animal things, it reminds me of a Metal Gear Solid design. Well, I mean, I'm really inspired by Metal Gear Solid, so of course, when I use like those tight synthetic suits, it it it's, it's probably inspired by this. Like, I, I haven't used really reference. Like when I did this character, I had no reference. It was kind of like an exercise of doing a character as fast as possible. So I did this character like without the polish. Like this character was done like. Like in about like a day or something, I did like a super quick blocking during a workshop uh, uh, at school, and then I just finished. Um, like it was still very blocky, but no, it was like well, it was looking fine. But what I meant, to, what I mean to say, it's just that like to uh, to bring it to this, I just had to spend like another day just to make sure uh, things like when you zoom in a little bit closer, they don't look too like blocky. The reality is that like it's still a pretty blocky mesh. Like for the industry, I would need to go and repolish everything and and whatnot. But for the exercise that I'm doing right now, where I'm just trying to do something as quick as possible and see if it looks good in the final rendering, this is basically uh, what we're going going through. Uh, that's actually really awesome that you're able to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I think it's a it's a great little technique. Uh, it truly looks awesome. Love those types of cybernetic suit designs. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. That's 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 pretty much it. Um, you know, you know what what's gonna happen? We're going to we're going to <laughs> send uh, the love. We're gonna rebounce. We're gonna rebounce the love. <laughs> uh, let's go and raid somebody. Uh, Let's call it pay, pay it forward, right? <laughs> uh, Volpsy, thanks again for that. That was really great. Uh, thanks to everybody for, for joining, uh, those who stayed in the stream and those who actually appeared at the last second. I appreciate I appreciate this. Um, yeah, just follow me. Check it out. I'm um, doing fun stuff. And uh, people that were in my stream, go and follow Volpsy as well. You can learn a lot of things and uh, just have a plain, a plain good time. So uh, thanks for joining everyone. That was great. 
I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you next week. All right. Take care.